There is a general consensus among fans that Spider-Man 2 is arguably the best Spider-Man film. Even with the new films such as the MCU trilogy and the two Spider-Verse films, this high praise still stands. I myself am proud to be among those fans who still consider Spider-Man 2 to be the greatest one of them all, even until now. The story of Spider-Man and Peter Parker in this film was perfectly written. His relationship with the other characters and the acts that they all went through were heartfelt and jaw-dropping, especially when Harry removed Spider-Man's mask. The antagonist of the film, Dr. Octopus, was a worthy adversary of our webbed hero, an extremely menacing but completely understandable villain. He even had his redemptive moment in the end, making me like him even more. Having said this, there is one particular scene in the film that for me perfectly epitomizes what Spider-Man is all about. It was the scene where Peter Parker was helping Aunt May with moving out. This was the time when Peter had already given up on being Spider-Man. He is just a normal person helping his aunt with the boxes. While doing so, he met a kid, Henry, that was helping his aunt as well. And Aunt May mentioned to Peter that Henry's idol was Spider-Man. He asked why, and Aunt May said one of the most profound monologues in Spider-Man cinema. When I was a kid, I used to skip these scenes because they were not exciting. But now as an adult, I realize how wise and important this monologue is for Spider-Man's character. Although it was never overtly shown, Spider-Man lost his powers because he was losing confidence in himself because of the many terrible events that have been happening in Peter Parker's life. Hearing Aunt May's speech, that there are still people idolizing and rooting for Spider-Man, that he is a true hero, a symbol of strength and hope, and that's why everybody loves him, instilled confidence in Peter and helped him realize the importance of Spider-Man to the people of New York. In a way, Aunt May's speech helped Spider-Man to come back, and that is why I think this is one of the most important scenes in all the Spider-Man films, because it helped Peter regain confidence in who he is as a person and as Spider-Man, and he never lost his powers again after that. Furthermore, the wisdom of Aunt May's speech reach other people as well, not just Spider-Man. The best example is when Peter said the same thing to Doc Ock, therefore convincing him to destroy his project and save the city. That is when you know how profound and important a speech is, because it affected both the hero and the villain. I've heard some people say that Aunt May knew that Peter is Spider-Man due to this scene. I did not think about that back then, but now, it makes perfect sense because at the end, she was not talking about Spider-Man anymore. She was directly talking to Peter.